Ah, I gotta get some adrenaline. So let's get this started. Um, we're gonna open with um, we're gonna open with probably City Escape, just because I feel like it's probably a good thing to do each time I sit down and play. Um, because honestly, who doesn't want to like sit down and enjoy City Escape, right? Uh, so we'll just do the Hunter Ring run. But I gotta get back to it, but I hope the rest of the stream goes great. Uh, hey, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I appreciate it, Giga. I stream every single day, so if you're looking for a place to hang out, you're always welcome. Yeah, uh, collect 100 rings. Easy. I can collect 100 rings. Maybe. Oh, fuck. I actually winged the edge. Yeah. Fuck that car. <laughs> Uh, they really want you to catch that. Oh, I got the double. And I missed the other one, but that's okay. Not a big deal. <laughs> Don't want to make it too easy. Ah, shoot. I'm like, I don't know if I can actually, like, run and jump. I can jump that. I can fucking bounce that. Unless I'm on the stairs. Ah, uh, eh. oh, maybe, I, maybe I can't quite reach it. Ah, <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> hey, Ironic, how you doing? Woo. Fuck, I did it again. <laughs> Yeah, but can you see? Si si can you sing City Escape while playing it? Uh, gosh, GF, you know I'm vocally challenged. There we go. All right. There we go. Uh, oh, that was it. <laughs> I forgot how short it is. I mean, that probably won't even be an A. Yeah, so that'll be a B. <laughs> It'll be a B because I've fucking dicked around with that one capsule for way too long. But sometimes, sometimes you just have to you just have to dick around with a capsule. <laughs> this is how it is. You know what? We'll do it again just because honestly, who doesn't want who doesn't fucking enjoy City Escape? This is a wonderful stage. Like Masterclass in environmental storytelling. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Ooh, I was about to say, I'm just gonna get the life on that one, because it was, it was both far over, but it was like, also, I kind of, um, that's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I did it again. <laughs> All I have to do is keep going forward and that would be fine, but instead I'm like... Instead I'm like taking this little... I'm just like dipping out for a split second. Ah. Woo! Oh, whoops, I missed the last one. That's a shame because I would have done it. <laughs> can do it a really weird way there's always there's always room for doing it strange <laughs> strange <laughs> new and strange oh my god we're not doing any better this time uh, uh, I'm running a two-hour film project for work so it's being uh, being on my PC I'm watching you on mobile okay fair enough breaking news Sonic uh, causes hundreds of thousands of dollars of property damage hell yeah he does fuck yeah so being on my PC, getcha, that's fair. Yeah. Might actually want to skip that one, honestly, thinking on it. Oh, whoa! Right to a hard stop. Welcome to Sonic Adventures 2. <laughs> no! gonna miss them rings. Nah. But honestly, like, 
Well, I was gonna roll through it, but who cares about that? There we go. Oh, I was only 10. That's not as valuable as I thought it was. Oh. Um, oh, shit! What's this? My, my computer was like, oh, your phone's connected. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Sonic does say fuck the police. He literally says it at the beginning of this game. He, like, jumps to the helicopter after, like... And he's like, fuck the police. That was cool. I, I, I bet an A rank is one minute, and we've edged that out. Uh, okay, I feel a little bit warmed up. Got a little bit of adrenaline. Uh, so I hope everybody's down for um, the dark side story. Uh, um, he literally does. Like, honestly, I think that's what makes this maybe the best 3D Sonic game. Like, Sonic literally is like, fuck the police, and he routinely says it in this game, which is great. <laughs> I'm like, once again, timeless game. Also, I just gotta say, the menu theme is really good. Like, this is, this is something that, um, I'm like, damn, I gotta remember that this is, like, it's a thing. All right. Prison Island inside the base. Let's get this started. This is wonderful. Let's take a look at what my grandfather was working on. A top secret military weapon. The military shut down the research because they feared it. Also, god, the sound balancing is so bad in this game. Intruder alert. And there is actually a mod for it. Somebody did go out of their way to rebalance this game's sound, so I might actually have to opt for that. Oh, we had we don't have hover, right? Gotta remember that. <laughs> Whatever, we got monk. Was it always this bad? Yes. It actually is this bad. I kind of forgot about it though. It's funny when a person will like mentally like block out, I guess. Nothing like a high pitched buzzing to just really like bring it all together. Like, who doesn't love this? Who wouldn't love just this sound constantly? Oh, nah, too late. Oh well. Just like, let's get some rings. Eggman needs rings. If you had your own egg walker, would you uh, use it to wreck the military police as well? Obviously. And so that's the number one purpose of having an egg walker, of course. What else are you gonna do with an egg walker? I'm not happy <laughs> with the high pitch buzzing. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. I might see what I can do about it. Uh, hey Nova, how you doing? What you up to? Uh. There we go. Level five security door breach. Switch to 
I love how the doors are like struggling to close. An extra Eggman for the road. Ah. Honestly, the more I play this, so the more I kind of really want like Sega to like remake this game. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, we have to do it this way. Okay, I have to wait until. There we go. Uh, Twitch, uh, Twitch said no frames. Uh oh, you're having stream trouble, huh? Definitely, definitely, like check your um, uh, check your like bitrate outputs and stuff like that, cause uh, check it against um your internet speed test. There we go. Piece of cake. Cake, yas. Oh my god, my phone is connecting and disconnecting constantly. Stop it. Uh, it's not on your end. Okay. What could be in here? Uh... Wait, this is warning crushing hazard. Oh, it's a door. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. So this is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the chaos and They should have put some numbers or like symbols in that password. Azay Nosh. Nobody. My name is Shadow. Why? Since you were so kind to release me, my master, I will grant you one wish. Now what? Behold the true power I possess. I mean, it's just like, but my wish! This is Scorpion Troops Hotshot. Enemy movement has been detected. In route to intercept and destroy. It's Hotshot. Yeah, add 420 to the end of the password. Oh, they have his uh, play Shadow, okay. No, I was gonna use those to jump up on, on, on your head. Oh shit, that didn't connect. Never was made. <laughs> no. I guess I don't technically need those ones, but <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take a. I'll take a trade. Yeah. Uh... I just want I just want to connect please. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. I'm just so needlessly greedy, I just want to get the hits in early. Which is like doable, it's just yeah, yeah. Hey Uni Princess, what's the chat? Oh, we got another one. I don't recall Sonic dealing with this shit. But I love how like <laughs> Like, come on, Eggman interacts with, like, two people tops, and one of them is Sonic. Like, really didn't... Really? Uh, couldn't recognize Sonic? Are you kidding? There. 
Uh, Meg is just a catapult. Pathetic humans. Pathetic humans, yeah. The Spiss Shadow is only game. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. Uh, what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Yeah. Uh, Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you. Shadow's fucking pay to play. <laughs> on the space colony arc. Arc. Eggman just like a gasp that like it fucking just Shadow just walked out on him. <laughs> Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. That makes it very powerful. What the? <laughs> Yoink! Look who's calling who at me. I can't hear following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald. Dr. Egg. So that's Dr. Egg. Yoink. I'm like trying to, I'm trying to like put like, I'm like, Roosh's like, Roosh's motive here doesn't really feel like it lines up with Eggman's, does it? <laughs> um, uh, you, <laughs> nya? I nya adorably? Oh, well, thank you. Um, let me see here. Um, so code. Help me sell this. Are we on Angel Island in the scene? There's a pyramid in the background. Um, I mean, I assume, I assume because like, this is technically like the well, this is the adventure line, so um, maybe. But it's like this is like how to put it. It's weird. Okay, so there's very clearly distinct. There's distinctly like the like Sonic the Hedgehog like sort of that world and then there's like this world and it's like I think I think technically there's room for them to be the same place but it does feel weird I feel like Heroes is the only one that kind of does them both sort of but uh well I should say it's not just uh Heroes it's like Unleashed also kind of does it too I guess but um but I don't think I don't think for whatever reason that is an Angel Island just because it seems extra sandy <laughs> like <laughs> that's just my that's just my feels, I guess. Yeah. Ruse is like Catwoman. The sexy anti-hero. Yeah, basically, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like she was a good addition. She she really like she she was a good addition to the like cast for the for Sonic. Ten animals you say, wow. Wow, I wonder what that noise is. It's sure annoying. Uh, but, yeah, she scratches here. So Sonic wears soap shoes, but that means Shadow has an early, <laughs> early adapter of Heelys? Oh my god, no, white. Yeah. They added a cat later, yes, Blaze. And, ke uh, and kept that one, but hmm? No? Also, hey, Heavy, how you doing? How's things going? Okay, so our... This is the only thing that feels correctly sound balanced um, in this game, is these crickets. 
These these are accurate. <laughs> Cause crickets be loud as fuck. Yeah. Okay, there's stuff up here. Oh. Oh, it's right there. I can literally see it. It's not even hidden. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm fucking playing Rouge. No, 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 there's no digging. I was like, how do I... I might have to dig for it. Smash all the things. driving for 12 hours and have four to go. Oh no, paper, take it easy. Take a break when you can. Yeah, no dig on this map. Oh, cool. All right, let's see where this is. It's funny because most of the first playthrough actually didn't take that long. It was, um, <laughs> it was mostly just the fact that it was like, um, I did see a ping here. Woo. Oh, hello, little turtle friend. You're what was making the noise. I never would have guessed because, honestly, <laughs> I probably couldn't have seen. I would have never seen you if it weren't for the like camera just happening to happening to move the correct way. Oh, um, dive. There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, Oh my goodness, I have some redeems. And a head pad. I'll take that in just a moment. Where is it exactly? I'm getting a lot of pings over here. closest when I'm right here. Oh, it's in the bush. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. Okay. I gotta remember they're kind of out in the open. There we go. <laughs> they're out in the open for her. I'm like overthinking it. Why does it look like she's about to fucking give me like the fucking meanest backhand? Jeez. This is what I get for apparently not looking. Easy for me. Jeez. Apparently that's what I get for being slow. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, Chow World. All right, all right. I've decided. I've decided that um this baby right here, this one right here that I've bothered by waking up, this will be my evil child. You can have power and speed. Oh, that was also power. And also a little bit more power. And a little bit more speed. Uh, 
I'm giving this child the world. Yes. Power. Power. Oh my god, my phone's decided that it wants to connect and disconnect constantly. It's like, why are you doing this right now? Please? Sorry. I bet my tracking really fucked up there. Ah. Stop it, phone. Stop it. You have one job, and this ain't it. There. Okay, hopefully that's okay. <laughs> Also, I guess since I'm paused here, anyways, let's. Ah, uh, head pat and a chin scratch. Yes. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, thank you, heavy. How you doing? What were you playing? What were you up? Sh what were you streaming? Ah. Uh. The perils of VTubing. Yeah. Exactly. Apparently, my camera got like bumped. Yeah. Uh. Double camera setup, oof. Stop chewing on the cables, yeah. Still doing builders? Ah, right, 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 right. Ah. <laughs> ah, thank you. <sighs> I'm like, is my tracking okay? Um, probably. Um, let me catch up here a little bit. Tracking seems fine. Okay. Who wins? An advanced tank or one rolling back curl? <laughs> yes. Uh, Alright. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I woke you up. Oh, you're looking grumpy too. No. No, I just woke you up because I wanted to give you RAM. And also orange. You can have orange. You can you can have this half eaten mango. Yeah. Let's see. Easy. Oh my my baby was hungry. Uh Establish a form made an epic waterfall. Oh, very good. Alright. Desert area. Sand ocean. Return to the hidden base. Those idiots will never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. Let's take care of this here first. Then get inside. I feel like this is implying that Eggman just like, like, for someone that's like, I'm <laughs> asking for a million dollars after blowing up the moon, he apparently owns a pyramid and also a, um, like a space, <laughs> of like a fucking space station, like come on. I mean, I guess he doesn't technically own the space station. I guess. Yeah. He doesn't need money. Then why does he ask for money? <laughs> uh. To make a point. I mean, he obviously doesn't need money, I guess. I mean, he obviously doesn't need, <laughs> need money if he blew up the moon for exposure. <laughs> Uh, like it's a tribute to the e fuck. There's a tribute to the Egg Empire. Bonk. Oh whoa. Torches are everywhere. Why was there so many together? <laughs> Just 
just do it. Oh, right. We don't have hopper. <laughs> Eggman's not gonna make it to the pyramid. He's not gonna. He's not gonna make it to his secret base. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, uh, there's a little parrot way over there. Oh my goodness. Oh fuck! Our turn circle. Our turn radius. Fine. <sighs> you know, if they even if they re release this game with like Oh like they wouldn't even have to do like a full remake of this game. Like just just better sound balancing. <laughs> That's honestly all I asked for. <laughs> This isn't gonna work. Why? Why would they put this here? But I did it anyways because I trust it. I trust in the power of uh, the speed speed booster. Please, my ears. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's just like it's so notice. It's well, it's so noticeable now because I think there's just so much more like. Nobody would release a game with like sound balancing this bad, like in this day and age. Ah. That was an easy one to get. Jeez. Oh no! I have to. I <laughs> forgot I don't have boost, I don't have hover. Legitimately dangerous. Still might, still might do. I mean, this game, this like port has been out for like eight years? Question mark? Yeah. Uh, the jumps. Yeah. Uh. Like, I might just go download the fan patch and, like, do it that way. I say that, and in a week's time while I'm still playing this, like, I'm still gonna have the sound still coming like this. Yeah, fuck all these pods. Oh, hey, a raccoon! Come up, let's go. Alright. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the jumping's kinda killing me right now. It's well it's literally killing me. But <laughs> But it's one of those things that it's just like it's <laughs> It's like... <laughs> no! The jumping... There we go. It's just, it's just one of those things that it's just... It's, it's so hefty feeling. Uh, ow. Eggman, you gotta jump! Bend those big wobbly legs of yours. Or... Whatever, I guess you you get your robot, which clearly isn't helping your jumping capacity any. Cause 
Oh my goodness. Eggman outside the mech is um honestly just just a pleasure to witness. Oh my goodness. I feel like there's something back there, but it's okay. Yeah, bend your legs! Eggman is like no. <sighs> this is doing a weird thing to me, like, like the fact that the the sand is moving, the platforms are all moving. It's like kind of it's making me unsteady in a weird way. This is what we need. That was a journey. Here's Grohl. That was too close. I've always, I've always been a fan of Eggman's uh, Yush. <laughs> Which I think, honestly, I've probably done for well over 20 years now. <laughs> oh my god. Here, here's something amazing. Check this out. Eggman walking. <laughs> This is how he moves. This is canonically how Eggman moves. This is how he runs. And you know what? You know what? We joke. We joke that it's... This is like... You know... It's like easy to laugh at it because it's like, you know, it's like, oh, Sonic Adventures 2, you're so silly. No, pay attention to any time he ever runs, even in the older games. He actually runs like this. He he has like noodly fucking legs. <laughs> like, just watch him when like his robot explodes and he runs off. There's like that one moment where he outruns Sonic or something and like, for some reason, like in the older games, and he runs like this. He actually does still run really, like, it's a really weird run. Does it share the same animation? No. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. His legginess is supreme. Yes. That's how he likes to be addressed. Uh, his supreme legginess. Oh, my baby is always asleep. I don't want to wake my baby up. Please. Please. Oh, you can have this. And you can have this. I think my, I think my other baby fell down. It's okay though. <laughs> Leg. At least it's consistent. That's the thing, is people think that it's just this game that he has a weird, like, walk. But no, no, he actually just, he's just, he's always walked like this. This game actually captures it better than most, I think. I'm just gonna spoil my first two chests. Wait, you can shake the bird? Wait. I can shake the parrot. There we go. Oh, no, I'm I'm magnetized to the tree for some reason. Okay. Okay. That is that is that is a okay. With the chaos emerald in 
the Space Colony Ark. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break in at the <laughs> Federal Reserve ass. Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing the that was stolen Emerald? was the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in <laughs> makes the, the best faces. Stay tuned for more, more details. Like the work of Shadow. I don't get I don't get it, like how pathetic. Like, I mean maybe there's just not a lot of anthropomorphic hedgehogs running around, but like Like come on. Oh no. What? Shadow, I beg of you. Please Maria. do it for me. For all the people on that planet. Sayonara, Shadow, the hedgehog. I still remember what I promised you. For the people of this planet, I promise you. Revenge. I feel it. I feel, no. Uh. Oh, nice. Yas. Now we're playing Shadow. Yas. Uh. Everybody remembers Sonic's like stages, but Shadow has really good stages too. I mean. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> yeah, fuck all this stuff up. I was probably supposed to climb that, but whatever. Yeah. Go. Uh, I was, I was about to say, there's like. Oh, right. <laughs> I ain't doing that yet. Also, like, I just want to say that, like, I think it is something that, like... <laughs> I just think it's really, like, clever of them to have Shadow, like, have a distinctly different, like, movement, like, style than Sonic. I think it adds a lot to his character. Because if he just ran the same as Sonic, I think it wouldn't have popped nearly as much. The fact that he has, like, kind of a skating animation, I think it's just really tight, and it really... It really differentiates him from like Sonic in like a very iconic way. Uh, yeah, my seal senses were tingling. I could tell there was a seal in that box. Which is something you could say about Metal Sonic too, is the fact that like they they both move they move differently than Sonic does. Which even though they're all kind of meant to be like fast characters, it's just nice that they, you know, aren't all just running in the exact same fashion. Could have been a very easy mistake to make, I think. Yeah, well, so many people complain, uh, they were alike, so they gave <laughs> Shadow <laughs> cars and guns. I don't think that was why they gave Shadow cars and guns, but... Oh, there was Big up on the um, hot air balloon. Uh... Looking back, it feels more and more like... Um, like... Uh... Between Sonic... Sonic... Um, between... Um... Uh, um, between um, Sonic Heroes and Shadow the Hedgehog, it does kind of feel like Sega was just trying to like feel out what people were wanting. You know what I mean? I can take that, I guess. 
Yeah. I'm like, fuck it, don't jump. Yeah. Yeah, rocket soap shoes, exactly. The soap shoes you order in the secret menu. <laughs> This is his... This is his legacy. <laughs> you know what isn't his legacy? Working Square Enix, because he's apparently not working there no more. Yeah. Think about that. I'm more. I'm thinking that's a really inefficient road. When it when your when your road does that, what do you fucking do? Like, ah, uh, yes. Put the spiral highway like segment right here. Hmm, too easy for me. <laughs> I want more of points of Sonic Three. Oh, you want 3D and hover bikes? <laughs> I mean, that's that's essentially, if you want more Sonic 3, like, Mania is probably your closest, but Mania is also, like, it, Mania is definitely, like, a harder lean on, like, 2 than it is 3, but still. I mean, I guess there is the other characters, which kind of bring brings it around a little bit. Yes. Absorb. Become strong. Yes. Have raccoon. Uh, I had a thought. This is not canon. Maybe Sonic has been tapping into the Chaos Emerald's power to warp space around him this whole time. That's why the environments are tailored to him. <laughs> Maybe. There we go. Points of Mania. We want this, Sega. Okay. <laughs> we get what you want. So, it makes Sonic... Well, I mean... Hey, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, Sega is essentially making them both. Like, at this point, you know what I mean? Um, like, Sega showed Mania a lot of love. Mania is not even in-house, which I think is honestly probably the biggest sign that Sega is willing to take the steps to make a good 2D Sonic game by handing it off to a team that can make a good 2D Sonic game, which is good. Um, they continue to do their 3D Sonic games, and that's fine. So, I mean, there's something there for like people who want 2D and 3D. Yeah, I'm glad it isn't in house. Oh my god, baby, you can't swim. Ugh. Yeah. Look at my baby. Like seriously. Just takes off. Just takes after me. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. That's the genius of it. Like, it takes a lot of like care to know when you have to hand off like your your baby to someone else because someone else can hand like you know knows better what to do with it, right? Like, it's the same, <laughs> yes, let's gently, gently, Shadow's just like, yes, Mango, <laughs> my baby. <laughs> yeah. I got Teeth Baby too, my first, oh my goodness, yes. I like the notion that like, <laughs> Shadow's just spent a little bit too long in the capsule and he's just like, yes. Grow, my child! Grow! Oh god, my baby's drowning. Help! <laughs> no, stop it. There we go. What? The same in. Starts with this. Uh. Jewel containing the ultimate power. Emerald. Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that emerald? 
say something, you fake head on. Chaos control. This is before they figure out the trick to like Sonic's mouth, where they can always put it to the side to emulate like his 2D look. But I don't hate this. It's jank, but it's like memorable in a special way. <laughs> wow, not waiting around for that. In the pyramid, egg quarters. Find the three gate keys. This is Rouge. I have located Eggman's base and will proceed to enter it now. Hmm. <sighs> I hate to say it. I guess I'm going to have to find that key first. Oh yeah, isn't it like a thing that she like works with like gun or something? Jesus, <laughs> okay, I guess we're just gonna take that. What? I personally like it in, um, is it so it's Sonic X that she has like this, she has like this like flirty relationship with like, um, like the series like human cop character that's like, she just has, she just has a gay relationship with this like, uh, cop and I'm just like, I'm, I'm fucking about it. <laughs> this is great. Like, hell yes. More of this. Make this canon. Put this in the games, please. Yeah, she's a government spy of some sort. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it that way then. What am I doing? I'm just getting caught up in doing absolutely nothing. Kind of makes me realize also, though, like, oh, fuck. How, how much, like, they kind of... How to put it, like... It's not like re- it is kind of reusing content, but it's like, it's definitely like, in a way that, um... Oh, fuck. Like, I don't remember- oh my god. So I can- I can fight them, can't I? There we go. Go away, weird rocket sled. But I gotta stop getting spotted by it. I'm not supposed to get seen by this thing. First key is around. Just jump into the fire. Yeah. Oh my god, all the hits, just take them. Really? Oh, I'm trying to get around it. There we go. Mm. Close, huh? There. Alright. Two more, but yeah, no, I liked I liked her for, uh, like flirty gay relationship with that cop. That's the only that is the only the only cop I'll approve of in the Sonic universe. <laughs> Who thought the style of gameplay was fun? I don't I don't hate this. I don't hate this. Like it's it's not great, but it's like it's variety, I guess. There we go. Pink nails. There we go. I have to admit, I'm taking a lot of, like, hits that are silly because I'm just, like, running around, not paying attention to the fucking stealth mechanic that's in this stage. I'm just like, who needs stealth? Uh. There we go. 
cool. Uh, okay, where is our second key? The key may be buried. Did you find a digging tool? Yes, yes I did. Is it like around the corner? Oh fuck. No! Alright. Sleeping under a coffin. Okay, there we go. awkward camera angles yeah honestly the big thing that detracts from these sections is actually the camera like the camera is really bad in these sections for just being like essentially like a open like just a little open like sec like level 3d platformer which at this point like this isn't this isn't like nintendo 64 ps1 era of gaming like this should have been like not hard to manage but yeah yeah, and that's a, and that's the thing. Like, it's true. It is true. People come to Sonic games for like speed, so it is not usually what people are looking for. I'm probably a little bit of rose tinted glasses on this one, just because I'm like, uh, I I just grew up with this, so it was like this is this was like, it's mostly fine in my books, but um, yeah, uh, like if I would, I'd rather just have like a game that's just all Sonic levels. But I will say I do appreciate that they're their own they're their own thing. They're not like they're not squeezed into um, the other like they're not squeezed into a Sonic stage, which is I think what uh, Heroes is kind of guilty of. Heroes has a lot of moments where it's just like it stops the whole fucking stage, like it kills the flow of it, just to make it so you're doing something that's not just running, and it's like no. Is Mario all about jumping then? Actually, mostly yes. Uh, but them sick jumps. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah. But don't ever make a Mario game. <laughs> Well, I mean, Mario Maker's a thing. Uh, uh, I think, like, I think the thing is, any good thing has, like, balance, you know what I mean? Hmm, it is around here somewhere, but be damned if I can figure it out. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Is it just, like... Is it just in this random wall? It's just in this random wall. We figured it out. Oh, Eggman just hiding a key in the wall. Not too bad, I guess. Good would have loved Mega Man Maker if it came out. Um, there is actually an indie game, uh, indie Mega Man Maker, which I do mean, well, I do want to try at some point, which I think would be really cool. Um, but no, it's one of those things that uh, I understand that they're more than just those things, but I do think that they're important aspects of those games that are very like, like, oh, they're very, they're very important. It's important to get those aspects right. They're not exclusively that, but it's just like, nah. There we go. Here we go. Uh, give baby all the animal power. Oh yeah, look at that sick unibrow. Uh, 
I mean, that's probably why, like, the jump, the joke of, like, jump shoot man, like, <laughs> like, works so well with Mega Man, because it's, it's two very core factors to Mega Man. Oh my god, all my, all my children. Why do they do this? <laughs> no, you should have Parrot. I'm just like, so cute as my other ones, just like... No, stop it. No! Why didn't they put a fence around the pool? I'm getting out of here. They keep doing that. <laughs> it's a space transporter. The ah. destination has been set to Ark. Wasn't that space colony shut down over 50 years ago? What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. Pose. Inside space colony arc. Find the way to the colony's core. So this is the space colony arc. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. Oh right, I don't have hover. <laughs> I can remember that. I kind of feel, I kind of feel like there was like bigger ideas in this game that they never really got back to, which is kind of a shame. Like, particularly with like Eggman's backstory. Well, technically, like, his grandfather's backstory. <laughs> his grandfather's story. Then, then, like, also, like, I mean, Shadow. Shadow's, like, a mystery that's never really, like, solved very well. And then, like... And then, like, Heroes comes along, and it's like, CLONES! And I'm like, ah. I'm like, nah, I ain't feeling this. Um, oh, so there's a spring right there. Um... Okay, I guess we're not going up this way. We can't change our camera, so. Whoa, I almost didn't make it. Okay. I wonder if it opens up the other one. Just out of curiosity. Cool. It's not. It's almost stepped in it again. There we go. Yeah, wasn't feeling heroes either. Yeah, because to me, like heroes, heroes splits the splits the difference between like classic Sonic and new so or like uh, I say new Sonic, referring to Sonic Adventures. It splits the difference between like Adventure Sonic and like classic Sonic, and it tries to like kind of make that a thing. And it's just like I kind of wish you just literally. Cl uh, had been a, literally a clone of Sonic from the beginning. More focused uh, character, less angst, more uh, scenery chewing. Like, like maybe. Like, I feel like there's an interesting like direction they could take in it, but like, they they don't they don't really ever go back to it. I'll say, hey, Panda, if I didn't say it. Yeah. Like, it um. There was there was there was cool plot that they could have did there for sure, but but I think Sega. They kind of hit the, they kind of hit about the same time towards the end of the, like, they kind of start to hit a point where they were not wanting to commit real hard to, like, a singular, like, Sonic story, so I think that's why they kind of shied away from it. Generations is better at 2D and 3D. Um, Generations is pretty solid as a whole. I have no real qualms with Generations, other than sometimes it's a little bit, like, long, but other, other than that, it's fine. There, we can finally hover, gosh. I'll try hovering to fly over you. Yeah. 
Cause like, and I'm not even, I'm not even like hating on like, sort of the more like, uh, you know, simplistic modern takes of Sonic. I think that's fine too. I just feel like there's, there's more to, oh my God, my phone, no, stop it. My phone keeps, oh fuck. My phone keeps like, you like bring, you know what? Is there a way I can turn it off from prompting me whenever the phone connects? Um, fuck, I don't know how to do that off the top of my head. Yeah. Better 2D than what? It's, yeah, it also depends on what. <laughs> There we go. Might be able to go uh, into your notification settings. Yeah. Whoa, shit. This... No! It usually doesn't do this, but it's decided today. It's like, what if I keep reconnecting over and over? Like, no, please. I really don't want the cable that I'm charging it with to die. That would be really, really bad. I haven't seen uh, a good 3D in game in so long. Uh, the 3D games are mostly fine, I think, at this point. Hey, Sydney! There we go. There we go. Not really, Eggman wants... <laughs> yeah, Eggman wants all the Ecto Cooler. Agreed. Uh, so when are we going to get, like, a gritty, realistic reboot of Sonic a la Bomberman? I mean, that was... <laughs> like... I mean, we got Shadow the Hedgehog, but I wouldn't call that realistic by any like stretch of the imagination. I don't, I don't think they want to go back to that. <laughs> I think that was a one and done on Sega's part. He says a cuss. Yeah. I remember that scene where Shadow says, uh... Uh, crab baskets. Realism Sonic 06. No! <laughs> no, Raph. <laughs> Sonic Boom is more realistic. Sonic Boom is realistic in the same that it's a sitcom. <laughs> that's, that's accurate, I guess. Sonic Boom is the Seinfeld of Sonic games. <laughs> or Sonic of the Sonic series. Referring of course to the cartoon, not the not the game. Because the game is oh god. I've seen enough of the game to know no that's just like a big no. Trying not to like take that. I'm trying not. I'm trying to avoid taking a big egg step and stepping off the fucking platform. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just need to take a little steppy. Sometimes you need a big steppy. Oh. Like, you could go, like, realistic with, like, the movie, potentially, if you wanted to. You could go that way with it. I just realized my feet are locked. I was worried about, like, taking steps. Hey, there's Big again. Just chilling out. I'd Big get into space. But it does seem like the type of problem he'd run into, so I guess I can't say it's not wrong. I can, I can kind of appreciate, okay, so like, here's my two cents on Sonic Boom. I can kind of appreciate, like, the, trying to differentiate the characters a little bit more, like, artistically. That's, that's fine. Yeah. I was not, I was not ready for Boom. I didn't really think too much of it, because to me it was like, it wasn't for me anyways. But then, like, I actually watched a few scenes of, from it, and it actually it has some good moments. It's, it's pretty witty at times, so I'm like, I'll take it. Um, we definitely need to go back this way, but we're walking blind here. 
Um, there we go. Yeah. A single raccoon, please. Um... I did like that they tried to go distinctive with the design. Yeah, I played uh, played test test. I play tested Boom, and the game was horrible even during beta. Oof. Yeah, like, yeah, it was. It definitely felt like something like, or at least from what I saw, I should say, it definitely felt. Also, I'm so sorry, Heavy, that you play tested that game. Oh my god. You you don't deserve that. You deserve better. Uh, does Sonic Adventures 2 have crazy broken games, skipping glitch strats? Not really. It's so, it's so like, each stage is a stage. There is things you can do in the stages to skip forward really far, sometimes, but it's like, it's pretty much limited to the end game, really. Uh, here's my thing about Boom. I'm not opposed to Sonic, trying out different styles, aesthetics, gen genres. Obviously, if fans want it, fuck it, go for it. Did, uh, did did fans want sitcom Sonic? Was anyone asking for that? Um, no, that's the thing. Nobody was. So it's like, you know, that's that's trying to. I guess that's just feeling out what there is you can go go for. I'm referring to the cartoon here. I've been established. Yeah, obviously, I think we're all talking about the cartoon at this point. Like, obviously, the better thing to talk about. If you want in the pool, you can have the pool. Gosh. Eggman just just looking out over the pool. <laughs> that child's gonna learn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there we go. Honestly, I kind of worried something. Boom is gonna be more what boomers think millennials are kind of shout. Yeah, I kind of kind of could see that. I mean, honestly, most of the people that are like we're working on it though are basically our age, so it's like. I think it was pretty, pretty, in pretty good hands overall. The, yeah, the cartoon was very self-aware of what it was, which is, I think, what helped it. Um, but once again, I can't speak to the larger volume of it. I've just, I've probably watched, like, maybe two, three episodes worth of clips, maybe. And it was like, okay, yeah. There's an episode about fan fiction. Yeah, it's very self-aware. Also, look at my baby. Look at slowly become evil. Just like me. Yes. Look at it. Look at its cold, dark stare. Look at those eyes. Yep. Oops. Oops. I'm clicking a whole bunch of windows. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this child. Yosh. Uh, Ah. I'm like, look at this child. Look, you can see, you can see its eyes. They're just like my eyes. Yeah. Oh, it's actually blinking right now. Well, I often blink too, so I guess it's not wrong. <laughs> uh, Eggman petting the child, like you're my greatest creation. You won't betray me, right? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I've been waiting for you, Doctor. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the Ark contained a top secret research facility where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This no. is one of them. A weapon capable of destroying an entire planet. Codenamed the Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet? Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. <sighs> oh, so that's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. It 
Exactly. What were you using them for before, Eggman? Like, come on. We need the seven chaos emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then the world could be yours. <laughs> the world and build a legacy Do you really of my own. think it will be that easy? How did everyone get get to space? <laughs> I've got a great idea. Oh, How about just move my window. Deal. Oh, deal. Oh, there we, we go. I changed the like something about a reaction. A reaction that it may have with the master emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you if think? I do. What's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. If I fucked the, now, like, here, you know sound. I'm a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels. <laughs> Eggman's face in this is wonderful. Okay, then. It's a deal. I don't think we've been in It's so expressive for really just being a mouth. But you can call me Rouge. Like, credit where credit's due. They knew that he didn't, like, he couldn't, like, look around, or, like, he didn't have visible eyes, so. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emeralds be here on the island? Are you absolutely sure? Well, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> very well, very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armory, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, you'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the chaos animal. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? Only have oh, that was cute. <laughs> to this mission off, and we only get one try, so don't fail me. Yeah, look at this teamwork. Look at this teamwork. Very good. I find it interesting that it's like Eggman's job just to be a distraction. <laughs> it's just like. He's like, I'm the brains of the operation, and also, uh, this is my role in it. Pew, 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 pew. Five minutes. Oh, hello. It's a large cannon! Big boom. Yes. Also, yeah, cannons, lasers, yeah. Honestly, I'm kind of realizing the more I like play this, how how little Eggman really knows about anything that's going on. <laughs> he's kind of just he's kind of just there, honestly. <laughs> yeah, head pat and chin scratch, yes. Huh. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, no, they're just, like Shadow. Shadow's just like, yeah, here's the keys to the cannon. This is uh, the fucking like Earthbuster. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, I only get one. I only get one chin scratch. I have to use it when it's maximum potential. Okay, fair. If you're mad scientist and you get an orbital weapon as a gift, I mean, yeah, I mean, jeez. Pretty obvious what you're gonna do with it, yeah. Shoot the moon, yeah. As as one does. 
when they receive an orbital cannon as a gift. I wonder if he shot the moon, like, with the expectation it was gonna be a lot weaker, and then he was just like, holy fuck, oh Jesus, what have I done? Um, uh, yeah, I just, I just want a mil- a million dollars, uh, <laughs> Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> He's just like, damn, this thing has a lot of fucking kick. <laughs> what kind of spring is this? Up. though it is it is like it is like basically what you want for a mission from like uh these like this this is one of the better eggman missions let's be real you just go around and destroy a bunch of stuff like that's fun like that's that's what you want to do Loving is the maximum oh yeah uh, there we go there we go if you care, of course I care. I always care about maximum combo. We're not worried about like rank right now though. That'll be for later. Yeah, you gotta maximize your, like, uh, targets. Because they <laughs> expect you to fucking slay. Yes. Yeah, I should use those. Yeah. How you doing? What are you up to? So it's like Sonic Adventure 2. What is the next most favorite 3D Sonic game? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I would probably actually say Generations. Like, I like Generations. Colors is also really good, but um, I'd say probably Generations. I always felt like um, <laughs> Colors, Colors, don't get me wrong, I think it's a good game, but I also feel like the concept of it didn't gel with me quite right. Like, Generations feels like solid to me. There we go. Uh, if we're talking in general, I don't think we can assume uh, Sonic Adventure 2 is in first. It's a big, big, very fighty fan base. Uh, uh, there, yeah, the remaking colors. Yes, I saw that. Which I think is actually it's a it's a good one to remake. I think it's a pretty good choice. It was originally on the Wii, so it wasn't really you know, it's a game that could have probably been like more polished, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, cake. Yeah. Okay, everyone ready? Shadow Rouge, on with the show. Look at the crew. All here, all together. I'm so glad you made it. Amy, why are you even here? What is this muscle tone? Who is this? Alright. 
get away with this. <laughs> oh, Tails. What are you doing? We just bopped him. Better luck next time, Fox Boy. Security Hall. Okay. This will be our last mission for tonight. Like next time, fuck boy. I think that's. I'm pretty sure that's what he said, isn't it? I feel like. I feel like that's. I feel like that's something the Eggman would say. This is actually one of the last um, missions in um, in this game that uh, I did for my original uh, 180 emblems. Is it really wise to put these indoors? Maybe we should have said it for longer than 15 minutes? Question mark? Maybe? Just maybe? Oh, oh fuck. There it is. Okay. Um. Just the money floating around. Do you think in like actual like like high security vaults that there's just giant fans that like blow the paper money around? Do you think that's a thing? I don't know nothing about them, so I'm just like hmm, maybe. Gotta gotta air that money out, right? Yeah, okay, next one's gotta be up high. This one's not looking good. This empty crate, that's important. Yeah. Oh, hello. We're getting closer. Oh, that was rude. That was super rude, actually. Ooh. Oh, damn it. That's what they mean by money laundering, exactly. Did it put it in a different spot? It did too. like a flash of red but then you don't get any more and it's like what's going on okay glad I didn't fly into that okay back to green oh hello there we go wait what uh, how do you do this um a thing, wasn't there? Maybe you need something for this? Yeah. 
So I thought you could dig on the very center of them. I, can't. I, can't. I mean, we can't dig on the walls, obviously. Um, hmm. Letter L. Yeah, I thought you could dig on the center of them, too. Got to hit the switches above. All right. Oh. Getting us killed, basically. It's like, surprise, I'm a double agent. Okay, so must be this switch over here, then. Wait a minute, if we go up this way. Oh. There we go. Oh. Cool. They would need to shoot, like, fucking rubber donuts just to line up their shot. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well. <laughs> There we go. Uh, okay, at least we got a beat on like how to do it. Maybe we'll get lucky in the last one. <laughs> 38 seconds to get lucky. Uh, it's not looking like we're gonna get lucky on this. Uh, Eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fourteen, thirteen, eight, B, three, two, one, dot. <laughs> and effort was made. All right, let's try this again. Okay, we'll unlock all our rooms first because that's probably a good in good use of our time, really. I'm the first one's actually up here, so... Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, are they already pre-unlocked now? Did it save that? No way it saved that, did it? No, okay. Oh, do we have to unlock them one at a time? I think we might have to unlock them one at a time. That would make sense. Anyways, the very, <laughs> the very first one's up here somewhere. I think it's probably in one of these bins, I guess. Cool. Yeah. It's really hard to walk on those. Oh, maybe you can't dig into those. I'm like... Oh, there's a platform up above. Okay, we're gonna hit the things. Yeah, okay. At least I kind of understand where it probably was. Here, we'll just... Can we do this? Take it from the top. Alright. Okay. Red, green. Yellow. Uh, just to find red. Green. Yellow. Still yellow. I was about to say, it's probably one of these robots. Oh, rude. There we go. Alright, two more.
Maybe blowing up the island was an unnecessary step, perhaps. Consider that. Yeah. Yes. Okay, green, yellow. It looks like it might be in the same spot as before. Nope. Okay, we're gonna say it's probably up then. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably in this thing. No? Okay, it's in this one. Can we dig into that? We can't, so we have to do the yellow C block. Okay. It's a cute idea for a stage, though. Yellow block, so it's this one. Floor down? There isn't this floor. No, it's next floor down. I can't. What? I can't. What? Oh, there we go. Uh, there's number two. Now we gotta find number three. Uh, oh. Where you got a signal? That's a good sign. Uh, hey, Double D, how you doing? There it is. Okay. Oh, no, no, don't do that. There we go. I was about to say, there's no way we're gonna be able to reach that. Uh, Nice. That took a little bit, but yeah. <sighs> Adventure two is going good. We're probably just wrapping up a rank, baby. Yeah. Easy. So that puts us a nice thirty emblems. Uh, that's that's like basically one half of the um dark side story. It's this goddamn robot again. It's a fly it's a flying dog. Ah, shoot, I was gonna dive bomb it. <laughs> That didn't work. Okay, I'll take it. I'm like, will this work? Can it just keep punching it? Can it just keep air punching it? Says the dark side. Uh, uh, also, yes, yes, it is. There we go. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure that does work. Uh, I'm like, from the top rope, let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Apparently locks you, locks you on. Or, like, locks you up. I can't talk today. There we go. Yes, yes, it can. Yeah. She's just gonna backhand this robot. All right. This is Rouge. I've got a small problem. I can't believe that I'm trapped inside this locked safe with a Chaos Emerald. <laughs> I guess I won't be able to call myself a treasure hunter anymore. That's a big whoops. 
Ja. I like I like how the association there seem to be that they both both Maria and Rouge blink. <laughs> Shadow's just like, oh my god, that remind that reminds me of Maria. <laughs> um, it's sure for double double Duncan. There's also a nod to double D from uh, Ed Ed and Eddie. I see. Uh, because that's rad. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's why this game is so timeless. Because like. There's two fucking sides. There's the hero side and the dark side, and they're both like, fuck the police. <laughs> the the police are their mutual enemy. <laughs> uh, could you say the same about humans making uh, locks that octopuses could easily break? I don't... Wait, what? <laughs> or would that be the locks aren't meant for octopuses or rodents, typically? I am I have no idea what's being said here. Uh, but for now, we're going to take a... Uh, we're gonna save the rest of this playthrough for um, tomorrow. Uh, God, it's 1:20 a.m. It's it's hard to believe it's been two hours. It does not feel like two hours to me. I just like I get into this game and it's just like it's just wonderful. I just fucking love it. Ah, uh, oh, so good. Yeah, uh, yeah, dark side. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. Anyway, Sonic Adventures. Sonic Adventure Two Battle. We'll do more tomorrow. We will. We'll have the dramatic conclusion. Does Shadow save? <laughs> Does Shadow save Rouge? Who knows? Only only anyone that's followed the Sonic series for the last twenty years would probably have a good idea. But we'll find out next time. <laughs> yeah. How's everybody doing? <sighs> Anyways, so yeah. But even is Shadow by now. See, that's a thing, right? Because they're gonna, they're gonna like, they, they were gonna finish his story, and we we're supposed to find out like what Shadow's big deal was, and then we just never do because Heroes was like clones, and then and then they had like to fucking hit us with like over the head with the decoy of like, is Shadow even really the Shadow? Is Shadow even really Shadow? And it's just like. Like, I'm like, this is unnecessary. <laughs> like, completely, completely needless. Next time in Tanking the Hedgehog Fund or <laughs> Bats in the Belfry, no. <laughs> and also there's uh, Silver, yeah, doing okay. 10 more minutes on video project rendering. Hey, not too much long, not much longer then. Uh, oh my God, I have a million messages. I'll have to check these afterwards. But anyway, so yeah, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's been enjoying the playthrough so far. Yeah. Uh, huh. Hmm. There we go. Um. And now wait. Uh, that was uh, in one of those many Shadow the Hedgehog paths that I have no idea about. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. It's like. Then they, then they were like, Shadow, let's give Shadow a game. And then they didn't like commit to like that idea either. They, were, they didn't commit to like, they didn't commit to any notion of finishing Shadow's like kind of story, which kind of sucks. I don't know if like 06 or um, any of 06 or Forces or any of those ones ever touched on it, but I feel like they kind of just let it like eventually uh, dissolve into like the ether. So ether dissolve into the ether. Sega's like, just like, nah, we don't really feel like touching on this. We're gonna have a tragic pass. I prefer it to be multiple choices. Shadow probably exactly right. Um, listen, Shadow the Hedgehog dating sim. Just go a hog wild. No. <laughs> I mean, if uh, Rival Schools can have a dating sim mini game, it's true. Maybe you're right. I mean, let's be real. Let's be real. That's tapping a what we know is a very large market actually. Sydney, you just Sydney like it's just like Sega, Sega, call Sydney, <laughs> call call her. Uh, hog wild, I get it, yeah. <sighs> but yeah, so the rest will be tomorrow, 
and then and then we're gonna have like a month long endeavor of getting a ranks and everything which yeah it'll take a little bit of time but it'll be it'll be fun it'll be fun to chew on yeah but i'll say hey bear claire how you doing what i'm trying to say is give me rival schools 3 with rival mode we absolutely need rival schools 3 that's that's a game that should exist uh. I mean, like, yeah, like, I kn I've said it before on stream, but I'll say it again. Like, if they're not going to ever make another Darkstalkers or, um, or Rival Schools, just merge it into the Street Fighter universe. They're already in the same universe. Just do it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Akira's in, um, in uh, Street Fighter Five now. Yeah. And she looks really cool. Actually, I don't know if she's playable yet, but I know, I know that she was, like, revealed. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? She's so good. Also, that was uh, the cutest yawn ever. What? I yawn. I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, Asked Boss to do a pride video for social media. Boss tells Facebook and YouTube he's bi. Um, okay, works for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, bosses be like that. <laughs> We need we need to do something for pride, and then your boss is just like, "I'll fuck anyone," <laughs> and it's like, "Okay, um, um, I guess this is acceptable." Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Yep. Strong boss energy on that one. Ah, uh, but anyway, so yeah. Ah. Uh. Mm. I want to play uh, Darkstalkers at some point. Uh, get in touch with my Air Dash roots. Um, yeah, I mean, Darkstalkers doesn't have Air Dashing, but it is, it is, it is what I would consider like the spiritual like precursor to um, to uh, uh, pretty much most Air Dashers. Although, what is, what is. Some characters, yeah, I guess Morgan does, doesn't she? I play Fre Felicia, so I was like, yeah. Uh, it is what I would consider like a spiritual like like predecessor to like um, uh, Guilty Gear in a lot of ways. Like if you like, oddly enough, you know what game actually like has air dashing, and it's really like an older fighter. It's a really old fighting game. Uh, Resurrection has it. No, it does it. Okay, it must it, it must be character based. I wasn't thinking about it because I I generally have only played um, uh, Dark Soccer's with um, isn't it just a fancy port? Yeah, um, I've only played Dark Soccer's with one of my friends to any like large extent. So maybe we both use characters that don't have air dashing. Huh, go figure. Huh. Yeah, no, I played Felicia, so she doesn't have air dashing, but she has some interesting like mobility options, I guess. Um, Hmm. I'm trying to picture. I'm trying to think of like what other characters besides like. I know Morgan has air dashing in like uh, in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, obviously, but that's because Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, hmm. I'm having such a hard. Lord well, Raptor has air dashes. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. That would make sense because I've never fought like those characters to any large degree, so that would make sense. Yeah. But yeah, no. Um, like the game that oddly enough is probably the oldest game I've played that has air dashing is actually the Gundam Wing Fighter for the Super Nintendo. That game is both really sick and really ahead of it, like ahead of the curve. I was like, I was very surprised by it. It's like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I did not, I did not expect this. I mean, I remember like, uh, <laughs> oh shit, is that Big Zam? Big Zam isn't in that one, but Big Zam is in the, I think, PlayStation one that came after that. Uh, Jetta has uh, Raven's Air Dash. Oh, has a swoop. Makes sense for a Gundam game, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And like, predates a lot of, a lot of Air Dashers by quite a few years. So, but yeah, gosh, it's been too long since I played Dark Soccer then. Yeah, must have just like slipped my mind, I guess. But yeah, um, 
I usually, my friend that I would usually play against usually plays BB Hood, and I don't think BB Hood has air dashing either, so it must just be like, by fluke, we played like two characters that just don't have air dashing. But, yeah. <sighs> BB Hood is my main getcha. Yeah. I, I, uh, she has double jumps, I was about to say. She does have like, different air mobility too so maybe that's just like that's just something i didn't like pick up on is that all the characters have like interesting air mobility which would make a lot of sense and once again is a good precursor to stuff like guilty gear so makes sense uh that's interesting that's interesting like to me like it has a real good through line with guilty gear in particular because like it goes over the top with its like attacks and animations in the same like sense that Guilty Gear does in a lot of ways. So I feel like I feel like there is like a line to be drawn there, even though obviously it's Capcom versus Arc System Works. Is uh, interesting air mobility or ground dashes have some airborne stuff? Yeah, yeah, because like Felicia has like um... actually I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure because uh, so basically what we're learning is. Anime Fighter isn't combo heavy fighting game with air dashes, it's just KOF with air dashes. <laughs> KOF with air dashes. Oh gosh. I'm like trying to think. I'm like, yeah, that would be that would be a thing. I wouldn't I'm my anime fighter isn't just combo heavy fighter with air dashes. What would what would be the what would be like the defining factor for an anime fighter? Let me think. Uh, four jumps plus air dashes. Uh, Capcom Power Hour, uh, weekday mornings before school. <laughs> Ruby's Megman Fall by Darkstalkers cartoon. Uh, gosh, that's, that's a little before my time, but, uh, they added a character in, uh, KOF, uh, uh, 14 with air dashes, and he became top tier. Yeah, I was about to say that, like, that'd be really, like, you can't kind of, you kind of can't add, like, you can't really put a character with air dashes in KOF because of just like the nature of that game, I don't think. <laughs> like if you do, you have to give everyone air dash like capacity or like some kind of option. Um Yeah. To me like KOF isn't like anime though. KOF is like like if 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 we have like a bar, if we have a bar here a bar and on one end is anime fighters and the other end is like i feel like the other end would be like kof almost like because i just feel like they kind of they're kind of almost like opposites of each other kof is really about like kind of the smaller like starchy links and like kind of that hard press and usually anime fighters are more about like gatlings and being able to just like kind of let it rip <laughs> But that's not universally true. That's just like what I would associate anime with, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's basically uh, detonating uh, the character skill floor compared to standard KOF. Uh, you know why I said that though, right? Uh, Soul's moveset is the KOF Shoto. Yes! Uh, Soul is a KOF Shoto and uh, Kai is a Street Fighter Shoto. Yep, that's that's accurate. Of course, you're dialing, dialing it to such a degree though that it's like they're both like built to be like the like extreme versions of those kind of character arcs. Uh, KOF doesn't have links though. KOF has something then, because like we've had this conversation before. I remember this. I I remember this discussion before. Um, <laughs> KOF not having links. Um, I I don't know what the term is that I'm like we're using interchangeably because we ran into this before and it was very like. The chat was very split on the notion of KOF having links. <laughs> um, KOF doesn't have links. Have you <laughs> not attempted air combos in that game? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, because, like, KOF is, like, I would associate with being link heavy. Like, everything requires, like, a lot of timing, like, to it. It's, like, maybe it's just, like, because it's, like, a consistent timing, but everything is just, like, our juggles links. I mean, I would consider any, like, here's my definition of what, like, a link, what I would consider a link. Any moment where you can't just, like, gatling, essentially. Any moment where you can't gatling, where you have to, like, time the next press. Uh, I don't consider them that. Okay. Uh, I didn't think about Soul as a KOF Shoto. Yeah, Soul's technically a KOF Shoto. Which, um, I only had that realization, like, probably a few months back, but it's, it 
makes so much sense when you actually like think about it. It's like, oh yeah, he is. He totally is. Uh, <laughs> links with cats. Yes, <laughs> it's true. True. We we can all agree that links links are cats. Like, I'm actually curious. Let me see. I want to see what the fighting game glossary because there's a new one that went up. Uh, fighting game term glossary. I want to find the 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 official the official definition. Um, is this the one? No, it's not this one. Uh, this one here. Okay. Uh, a link. Okay. Okay, so basically you have to let the entire move complete. That seems to be the definition. Uh, a technique where two moves can combo into each other by letting the first move entirely complete, including its recovery, uh, before starting the second move. It's different from a cancel, which interrupts the first move by skipping its recovery and going into the second move uh, early. Uh, in order to, uh, in order for two moves to link into each other, the first move needs to be plus on hit. Yes. Uh, there we go. Uh, I tried so hard. Yeah, I, <laughs> we were going for the like same, same, same thing. Uh, it's a link. It's a link for the chat. Yes. I mean, it's on screen too. But, um, like to me, like I'm not familiar enough with KOF to know if like you're canceling out of the like recovery frames or whatever on like some of these combos to me it always looks like uh yeah KF doesn't have a lot of big plus and hit buttons that lead to links okay yeah see like in my like in my eyes when i've looked at like the bigger combos it looks like everything's like getting like kind of finished but maybe i'm just thinking of it as being like just like uh the combos are just like strict in that like you're canceling the ending recovery of a move but like it's a strict timing within that like canceling window which to me, like, I would probably, I would have typically called that a link, so by the definition, I would be wrong, but uh, I have uh, to retreat for the night. All right, Double D, you have a great night, okay? Thanks for swinging by. Uh, there we go. Um, I'm curious. Oh, it even has Killer Instinct stuff in here. This is kind of cool. Um... Like, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> okay, here's here's another one, which is an interesting one. So we have anime game. Anime fighters. What what is what is their definition of an anime fighter? We're gonna find out. Okay. A particular style of fighting game that often plays high aerial based combat, including air dashing, wild character designs often drawn with a Japanese anime aesthetic. Which is most fighting games, let's be real. Um, there are many popular anime fighting games on the market from original uh, properties like Guilty Gear. Yes. Uh, fans typically like them because they promote high degrees of creativity, which is what I would associate with anime fighters. Is like the amount of like creativity that kind of... You're allotted. Uh, there's some funny ones in here. Oh my goodness. Like... Um, Chicago Punish. <laughs> correctly blocking a very unsafe move from your opponent like a dragon punch and then punishing it with an extremely low damage <laughs> uh yeah yeah that's classic um oddly enough i like and that's the thing it's like every place has their own like terminology right that comes with things because we have um at least in our local circle we have a thing called the helifax special which is basically when you start a match by instant air dashing throwing <laughs> Because every time I've went to like Halifax for the tournament scene, this is like something that everybody there does, like so, to such a like staggeringly high degree, and it's not like one person. It's like, like I've fought like at least eight or nine different people that have all done this, like on the regular, and it's just hilarious to me. I'm like, what is this? The fucking Halifax special, and and the hilarious part is every person I know that has moved to Halifax started doing it. So I think it's in the water. <laughs> uh, feel free to replace Chicago with your own hometown, since yeah, we're honestly we're all equally bad. Exactly. Aw, free cheese. Aw, well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's 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 go here. Yeah, Ramon one half a truly grounded footsie base FG. Yeah. 
So this mean Ramen one half fighter counts as an anime fighter. Yeah, and that's like the thing. It would be at least considered like technically a licensed fighter, but um, I don't know a whole lot about that game as far as the ins and outs of it. I just know that it's an older game, and I would assume that it would be probably not by definition like it, it wouldn't be an air dasher obviously because there's no air dashing in it but but that's i guess like kind of the 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 leeway of it all is the fact that it's like not every game that could be considered anime is an air dasher but most da air dashers are anime <laughs> i guess uh for a long time, I had a uh, post from Dustloop say they quoted somebody saying NorCal plays literally everything by <laughs> yelling Shag Fu ran bat. Okay. <laughs> it was pretty uh, competent from what I remember. I've seen it played. I've seen it played in, like, on uh, on streams. So, I mean, there has to be some level of interest to it. Oh, right. Um... I'm like, I can't just I can't just escape from the cheese by going to a different scene. That's not fair. Alright. <laughs> I played a, a KSB in Japan. Oh, very good. Uh it was uh yeah, I've i I've seen it I've seen it played. I miss Catherine. Too bad it would mask off. I don't think they were really hiding it too much with Catherine, but it they 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 like doubled down. That was Catherine's like big problem. Ugh. Cause, cause they like, the thing was is even in the original version they um treat what's her name like shit. Um, but I mean like, uh, what is her name? I cannot remember it off the top of my head. Erica. They treat Erica like shit in the original. It's like ugh, not not good. But it was within the realm of like, typical like typical incompetence from Atlas, so I was like, eh, it might be, you know, that, but no, then they doubled down with, uh, uh, Rin in, in the fucking, um, remake, which is terrible, too, because there's a whole competitive Catherine scene, um, and, like, they were desperate, they desperately wanted, like, online play for Catherine, and then, like, fucking Atlas puts out, like, online and then fucking adds, like, the transphobic, like, ending with Rin. Uh, it's, like, pretty, pretty fucking terrible. Well, it's, it's, technically, it's, I mean, it's, like, transphobic. It's one of Rin's endings, but it's transphobic towards, well, both Rin and Erica. Uh, I was Sonic. Hey, Kumi, how you doing? How did your stream go? Did you stream? Atlas, don't be transphobic challenge, yeah. As far as I know, I think that uh, Persona 5 was the director's last game, if I'm not mistaken. So hopefully we might see like Atlas like clean up their act in the near future. Uh, amb uh, ambiguous enough that you could uh, chalk it up to the characters having glaring faults, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, head pat. Yeah, just, just massage in that cheese. Oh, it's on the wrong layer. There we go. Oh. We're having we're having layer issues. That's that's cool. There we go. Uh, hey Yumbo, Sonic went good. Um, we are gonna do the rest of the Dark Side playthrough um tonight. So, or rather, well, yeah, technically tonight. So, uh, June fifth, we're gonna be doing the rest of this uh, Dark Side playthrough. Yeah, cheese pat. I honestly almost need some kind of like cooldown on the cheese that can like line up with this one so this can stop happening because I'm starting I'm starting to question everybody that's like yes massage the cheese into her hair and I'm like I'm just like this is terrible why <laughs> why would you do this to me <laughs> am I only here to suffer <laughs> oh my goodness um yeah uh... But yeah, no, they desperately wanted like online play for it, and then they Atlas put it out, and the, the entire competitive scene for Catherine just folded up. They were just like, nah, fuck this shit, and good on them, like good on them, like good on them, like don't fucking don't fucking put up with it. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like, I'm just like that's that's like the fucking like support I like to see. Of course, work uh, internet sucks. As soon as I uh, comment in the stream, um, yeah, Dazza Bro started uh, started, and to this day we stand the king exactly. Yeah, Dazza Bro is like, nah, this is bullshit. 
So watching at a staggering 160p. Okay, well, um, I'm sure I'm sure in all my all my nine pixels, uh, I'm I'm glorious. <laughs> um, yeah, she's actually makes great hair conditioner. Actually, I will trust you on that one. <laughs> Streaming like is 2008. Yeah, uh, you can use it uh, to really make fun do. <laughs> no, I talked to him about it once, and his only regret was uh, throwing the rest of the players under the bus. Hmm. I see. I see. I mean, uh, uh, I forget their name off the top of my head. Um, um. It's been too long. It's been too long since we've hung out. Um, oh my god, did I misplace that? Like, did I misplace that Discord somehow? How did I do that? Say what? Say what? Oh, maybe their Discord closed up. That wouldn't be too surprising, actually, at this point. Um... Yeah, that would actually make a lot of sense if they close their Discord. I was about to say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have left that. Uh, am I just like rolling over it? Nah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I know one of the other people that um, uh, handled a lot of the Catherine, competitive Catherine stuff, and um, uh. We played a lot of Senko together, but we, um, well, not a lot of Senko, but we played, we had an overlap in Senko, so that's kind of how I knew them. Uh, but they, they were also, they, they were fully behind Dacid Bro on that one. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna pass out for the night. Uh, thanks for the stream. All right, all right, Sydney. Well, thank you for watching. You have a good night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Nope, I'm just on data. All your nine pixels are flawless, so aw. I bet they are. Thank you. Was that uh was it that Randall Murrow comic where the guy develops a fetish for pixelated porn from watching What? <laughs> what are you talking about, healer? <laughs> yeah, hey Anna. Hey Savior. Uh but that you had uh on his mind, the people, you know how yeah. Yeah, like it's one of those things when a community has to like kind of die for the <laughs> when a community has to die I'm sure there's like a you know kind of just a disappointment around it you know for whatever reason let me find the link safe for work um <laughs> yeah I'm doing good I'm doing good savior but yeah uh, anyways on the topic of Sonic though I think it went good <sighs> it's funny going back to it though and I mean part of it is definitely like the PC port doesn't have like the load times that um, the GameCube version did so it definitely is clipping along a lot faster just because like these cutscenes are just like they just they just gatling these cutscenes out it's insane <laughs> so like it does feel like it's clipping along surprisingly fast but it's also like it's interesting going back to it. It's very, it's very like quaint, but like, I love it. I love it. The nostalgia is real. And like, I maybe, I'm maybe playing this game with rose tinted glasses, but like, this game, this game was like, oh, I put, I put so much time in on it. I fucking loved it so much. Yeah, uh, like, Sega had such a good showing on the GameCube. They really did. Like it was this and like uh, Fancy Star Online. God, I played I played those games like relentlessly. Uh, I maybe play this game with rose tinted glasses, but they're really nice glasses. Exactly. Uh, F Zero GX, right? Right? Like F Zero GX. Like I'm not even a big F Zero fan, but that is a really fucking good racing game. Like, goddamn. Talk about games that need to get fucking remastered. Like that said, like if you go back and play it on a GameCube, it actually still looks really good. It's it holds up quite well. Um, we used to we used to play it every year for Keith's birthday because it's one of Keith's favorite games. Uh, 
get uh, Nogashi out of Yakuza and back on F Zero. <laughs> I had a uh, I had the privilege of playing F Zero AX once. That's the arcade version. Yes, yes, I know of it. Uh, I have no idea how it's like different, but I assume it's probably just like running at like a higher like yeah. F Zero GX is tight, right? Right? It's really good. Like. And like it's not even my typical like style of racing game, but I still love it. It's really really good. Do you create two of the best racing games of all time? Yeah, the corniered is the better. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like, like F Zero, F Zero is like you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta. It has to be corny. Like it, it's absolutely gotta be corny, and that's like the best direction it works too. Like it, it's like. It's kind of like I don't know what you call it, but it's like um, it's like like what would you consider it? It has like kind of the like '60s like space like space hero vibe, and that's like it just lends itself to parody so well. Like it's just like you go you go that direction where it's not even like parody so much because it's not it's not really parody like. I don't know what you call it. Retrofuturism, that's the word. Like, that angle. Um, like, that is... I mean, f is not even really technically retrofuturism. It's just cornballs. That's the only proper term for F-Zero. Uh, edgier just than the future, no. <laughs> like, it's not even, it's not even retrofuturism, because it's, there's nothing retro really about it. It's just, it's just... It's just a corny space... Like, space racer... F Zero had uh, Star Fox. Yes, James McCloud. Yeah, references uh, Fox McCloud's father. Yeah. I like how uh, Star Fox, one of the possible endings is Fox and Falco saying, Yo, fuck fighting. Convert their R wings into G's. <laughs> G Zero racers and just race for a living. Like, which which Star Fox has this ending? I wa wait, wait, is this the one for the DS? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the yeah, it's an ending. Hell yes. Like that game, I I don't I'm not I didn't like it that much, but it's like it has a lot of fun endings. I was like I was like, what Star Fox game ends like that? And I knew immediately as soon as I said it. I was like, wait a minute, it's a DS one. Uh, theme songs in GX are spectacular. They are right. Like and it's funny too, cause like uh, you only hear them in like the museum part. Yeah, I know, right? Which is just that's a waste because like the music's really good. The entire soundtrack you can only hear in the friggin' library. I know, right? Uh, biggest mistake of the game, agreed. It's like it's a fucking it's a fucking like banger of a soundtrack, and they just don't fucking use it. <laughs> like it's it's great too because it's like really like. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same composer that actually did the music for Yakuza, um, and it's just it's just interesting to like hear how experimental like like you can tell you can tell it's very freeform, which is really cool. Uh, if your theme played when you were first on the final lap, that would exclu <laughs> I would exclusively play Biorex. Oh my god, like. That's that's like just the good shit right there. Is like when you have a soundtrack that can be so like experimental with itself, like, and there's so many characters and so many themes that like there's no other way, right? <laughs> nope. Nintendo wasn't sitting there like listening to all these and putting the stamp of approval. They were just like fucking let it go. They were just like yeah, whatever, whatever's good, and then they just went to town on it. <laughs> oh my goodness. But no, GX is excellent. Uh like excellent game. Keith's missing out not being here for this conversation. It's like literally one of his favorite games. Um, but yeah. Um, let me see. But no, good generation for Sega. Like really, really strong. And then they kind of, I guess they kind of start to wobble at the end when they start to like, like Sonic Indecision, the early days of Sonic Indecision. Sonic Indecision 0, 05. 05 to I don't know what like when did Sonic start getting his feet back on the rails? I said maybe colors. Like imagine playing this on the final lap. Oh my god. Just one sec, I just gotta
Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, but it didn't sell too well, I guess, because Nintendo doesn't have ears to the ground. They think nobody likes it. Agreed. Like, the fuck? It sounds like a vintage hair metal. It, I, I'm pretty sure all music from that generation is hair metal. <laughs> Why is Japan so much better at music than we are? Like, like it's one of those things that like, <laughs> hair hair metal's hair metal. Like, I don't know if it's a thing, but it's definitely like a thing in Japan. <laughs> Like, I don't know if it's a thing that, like, it's a thing in Japan, I guess I should say. Because it's sure in a lot of fucking games. Especially early 2000s, like, oh my god, there's so much hair metal. Oh my goodness. Oh, gosh. But, uh... There we go. But music's not really my forte, so I generally don't delve too far into it. Um, they, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, F-Zero didn't sell well, which, I mean, it's like, mmm. Like, it didn't sell well, and honestly, if we're being completely honest, I don't think there's a lot of prospect of, like, a new F-Zero selling that much better. <laughs> which is a shame, because it's it's really good. It's a case of, I think, a game that is, like, people that play it love it, but, like, from an outside perspective, there's not a lot of, like, pull, and it's hard to understand what one's, like, looking at. Oh. Aw, uh, hey, Charles. How you doing? Thank you for the raid. How's things going? Do you want to literally see Western music genre and go, oh, neat, and immediately start one-upping the greats? <laughs> Uh, people thought that uh, about Fire Emblem too, though. As thought about Fire Emblem though, as did Nintendo. It's true. It's true. And Nintendo took like Fire Emblem and made it work. Made it work in the West. The secret was dating. <laughs> the secret was just. The secret was add some spice. And ever since then, ever since then, Nintendo doesn't. Nintendo's not like. Nintendo used to be like really, really like. They would not touch anything like that was even remotely spicy, and then and then, yeah, hell yeah, fucking F Zero, F Zero, like F Zero dating sim. Let's go, let's go. Fire Emblem had uh, become almost uh, unrecognizable. Uh, yeah, had to become almost unrecognizable. I mean, like I think there's like a through line that probably still works, but it's like <sighs> sometimes that's how series go, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, hey Charles, how you doing? What were you streaming? Oh, head pat. Uh, like, and that's and that's like the growth of it, I guess. Honestly, I feel like Nintendo, there's probably two big factors. Like once Fire Emblem got a foothold, um, I do think Nintendo. So Nintendo likes to have like, you can like just from Nintendo over the years, you can tell that like they want to have like a game for each genre. That's like a strong thing with Nintendo. They want to have a good entry a good solid game for each genre and like fire emblem and advance wars it kind of fought in japan over like this one slot for like their turn-based strategy rpg and like you know hard cut to like um you know 20 years later um you have fire emblem and uh advance wars both kind of on the ds at this point and nintendo's nintendo's clearly become like um i guess like gun shy so like they don't like advance wars they don't like advance wars but but fire emblem doesn't perform well actually this would be like right before fire emblem awakening fire emblem doesn't perform well but then like finally they get a fire emblem game that like actually lands a hit it fucking sells and it sells really fucking well that was the fucking death kneel for advance wars that was that was the fucking nail in the coffin for advance wars um that's why we're probably never going to see advance wars again because nintendo doesn't want a game that's about like military like modern military combat that's that's not the, they don't like that they don't like that um yeah, like honestly, all the Advance Wars games in my books were like 
excellent. I have, like, minor issues with Days of Ruin for, like, some aspects, but honestly, its gameplay was fucking tight. It was, it was polished, like, the other ones get a little bit, like, kind of repetitive with some of their, like, kind of units that one-up other units, but, like, it's just, like, you don't need, like, four different types of tanks, let's be real. Um, really want a remaster of uh, Days of Ruin soundtrack, yes. Uh, make a new Advance Wars and call it Future Fire Emblem. <laughs> Maybe. That might be the only way we get Advance Wars back, realistically. Uh, I get the craving to play Future Tactics, the Uprising occasionally. I'm not familiar with it. I know the name, though. Future Advance Emblem. Uh, and, you know, I know there's an uncompressed version, but it's still compressed. Oh. Uh, f uh, Fighter Emblem. Marth in a Tank. Yes. Um, like, so Fire Emblem, once it did get its footing over here, I think kind of worked, but it's... Like, yeah, it seems to be doing well. Seems to be working for Nintendo. Seems to be working for Nintendo, so I guess it's okay. May I offer a fan-made Advance Wars by web? Yes, I have played this. Oh, white. <laughs> We've played it together, so yes. And oddly enough, then there was um, Chucklefish tried to do their own take on Advance Wars, which, once again, they went with fantasy because, of course, they did. Because it's it's more it's more sellable. It's less less, like... I guess, like, controversial. Um, Future Tactics was a little turn-based 3D uh, tactics game for the PS2 era consoles, aliens, lasers, soap opera levels of drama. Ah, uh, getcha. I remember seeing it in, like, bargain bins every once in a while, or, like, at game, like, used game stores and things like that. But I wasn't too familiar with the game itself. I started enjoying Fire Emblem uh, when the dating started. See, like, that's... Like I've played, I played like the Game Boy Advance, like Fire Emblems. Mm, not for me, not for me. Like, uh, dude, did the Pictionary OST and pl uh, Plock. The Pictionary OST is fucking fire. Holy shit, that OST for people that don't know it, um, fucking look it up. I was about to say Ted Woosley didn't do do that. Um, that was uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know the composer, but I know it was in Ted Woosley, Yeah, uh, Yeah, no, um, like, Pictionary OST, yeah, that was the Chrono Trigger translation guy, <laughs> yeah, um, for people that actually hear, just one second, for people that never heard this, like, um, OST, just, we're gonna fucking listen to it right now, uh, Like, this fucking OST is like. Listen to this, this is an NES game. And you know what an NES game it is? It's fucking Pictionary. Listen to this shit. This is like the NES. Like. Right? Yeah, get fucking hyped to draw pictures and guess things. Like, is this is this not fucking amazing? Ah, oh, God. Who was who was in the studio? I like a uh, Tim Fulham meme where the producer <laughs> Jesus damn it's Pictionary, I know, right? <laughs> like. Oh, I can't get over to the soundtrack. Me, me and so me and Keed used to. Well, Keed used to play it more, but Keed Keed has a thing where he has like a good memory for video game soundtracks, and he likes to play like, um, can you guess where the music came from, or like this mini game on uh, some forum where like you try to guess where like certain music came from, and it you know you get a score based on all your guesses. He had he had music pop up for this game didn't recognize it and he's like holy shit this music's fire what is this from and then he found out it was from Pictionary blew his mind uh. this literally unnamed track for the uh, Game Boy Color cue ball game has no business being this chill oh, I'll have to listen to it after this there's a meme from a youtuber I don't even remember uh, from who but every time he would hear a track on the game that slaps, he would uh, scream at the top of his lungs, WHO WAS IN THE STUDIO? <laughs> I see. 
uh, Solister um, in this. Yeah, it, it, this like soundtrack has this thing that a lot of I noticed like later NES games start doing, which is this like that sound there, that little like kind of I don't know what you call it, like reverberating pinging. It, to me, it always sounded like a spring. Um, another game that uses that sound a lot is uh, MC Kids, which for people, if people don't know, is a platformer about McDonald's, the fast food chain, and it's actually pretty good. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yes. The reason I remember it's like that is it's basically tricking your ears into hearing more sounds than there actually is. Yes. Like, it's a good noise. Uh, sub average license games. It just uh, uh, stuck with me, so I said, uh, I said it when I hear the track that slabs. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, that's a fair vowel. Um, so here's, here's like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Why? Okay. Like, people are like, why do these licensed games have these, like, fucking banger soundtracks sometimes? And the reason for that is, is the game's already paid for. Like, it's a licensed game. The game's already paid for. They don't care what you're doing with the sound most of the time. So it, it allows, like, um, composers to basically kind of freestyle or do whatever the hell they want with it most of the time. It's very rare. Wow, just right through my own chest. Rude. Um, that seems to be, like, kind of the through line, I guess. In a lot of cases, not universally true, but from what I've heard, this is like pretty, pretty typical. Like, Pictionary wasn't like. God damn. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was just punching a hole through my own chest. Yeah. Uh, like, damn, this is good. I mean, this whole soundtrack is only 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, the soundtrack uh, to War Room also si uh, sick as hell. That was money. Yeah, and it's like these licensed games getting these like great soundtracks. It's already paid for, right? There's really good quick uh, bio on Tim Fullen's work. He started as basically programming, basically programming music, seeing how hard he could push it in the ways the tech could just barely handle it. He considers himself more of a technician than a musician. Interesting. That's very cool. That's, that's interesting. I mean, there's a lot of overlap in a lot of ways. There's literally another one that... <laughs> yeah, oh, that's literally another one by the dust. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's on YouTube somewhere. Don't know where offhand. Hey, no worries. But damn. <sighs> yeah. Ah. Uh. Crack my neck. Yeah. Is it Dr. Robotics Mean Bean Machine where the menu music was basically the Wendy's train was was for a Wendy's training video? No idea, maybe. Nintendo had some uh six songs. Nintendo Nintendo always has pretty good music. Like I think like I mean Nintendo just has like a lot of fucking classic like video game soundtracks, let's be real. Actually, like, the last track he developed for games, too, before pretty much retiring, it was a song from a Lemmings game. Oh, really? Yeah. But... Like, the thing is, is, like, from a company like Nintendo, you expect, like, good music. You expect a good soundtrack. Um, you don't expect it for something like Pictionary. <laughs> I did a big stream, and holy shit, uh... I had to go to the bathroom real bad afterwards. I had, like, three bottles of... I had like three bottles of water. Oh, you drank too much water during your stream. Really a reminder that Final Fantasy started on Nintendo consoles. Uh, is technically a Nintendo composer. I mean, it was even a licensed thing back then. It wasn't like Nintendo had any ownership, so um, like, like Nabuo, like I mean. <laughs> This is like, this is like saying, oh, this is like saying that, like, Nintendo owns all, like, Mega Man music. <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, it's, I would say no, <laughs> but, hey, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's even Final Fantasy characters in the first party games as late as the DS era in Mario Basketball. 
Um, I mean, that's like, that is another whole, like, kettle of fish. That's because Square Enix made uh, Mario 3-on-3 three -three hoops. Um, that was, like, that was after their breakup and then, like, getting back together. So, that's another whole, whole thing. Oh, my, my, my tracking, just one sec. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, Nintendo made some classic Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Yes, like, you can't really count third parties in, in with that. Oh, I'm getting like an endless string of alerts that my USB connection is malfunctioning. That's not good. Yes, Windows. Oh my god. Ugh, I had a distinct feeling this cable was gonna die on me, and it looks like it might have just decided that today's the day. There. Uh. I'm like, we're just gonna jump to the last one here. Emergency cable fund. Ugh, I might have to go out and just, like, break the bank and buy one that'll hope. I mean, that's the thing, like, that's the worst part about buying cables is you spend, like, you spend more, but it can still just break in, like, a couple weeks. Uh. uh Alright, let me hear this other one. Oh, computer. I, I wish I had, like, how can I turn off notifications for stuff? Um, let me see here. There we go, notifications. Uh, do, 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 do. Just gotta try and find it here. I don't see it here. No. <sighs> Might be under autoplay settings. Autoplay settings. Yeah. This is becoming like this is becoming like a problem. Uh yeah, what do you want to do with the device? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. There we go. Autoplay settings. Thank you. Um We'll see if that helps. There we go. There we go. Hopefully that helps. Anyways, you know what? Let's let's get moving and get back into playing something. Oh, I still have cheese over here. Uh, just a little treat for later. Uh. All right, so um, we're going to jump into uh, 20XX. There we go. Oh yeah, we we're gonna listen to um, we we're gonna listen to Nova's Nova's post here, which is. Ooh. Yeah, this is. Ooh. <laughs> this is for Game Boy Color, too. That's impressive. G Jimmy White's Q Ball. There you go. That's what we're listening to. Uh. Damn. Just, just in the case of like a game that has like, you know, they probably were just free to do whatever they a famed classic. Yes, pool game. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to get things switched over to 20XX. I don't know what you call it, but like the layering in this is really good for a Game Boy uh, color game. Um, used to be a decent side pocket, gotcha. I enjoy playing pool. I haven't played it in a long time though, for obvious reasons. 
Um, well, even even before COVID, I hadn't played in a long time. Um, yeah, no worries, no worries. You have a great night, okay, Nova? Um, daily run. Uh, trying to take care of this daily run finally. Speaking of like putting putting a nail in like the coffin, that's what we need to do with 20XX right now. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love it. It is a good game, but it's also like this daily. This daily is like really been like a hang up. Ugh, I hate buying cables. Uh, doing U turns around a wine glass to hit a ball. Uh, haven't played pool in nearly two years, I think. Uh, was at a bar uh, with my <laughs> with my doms. No. <laughs> I'm like question mark. 